the same issue has been played by um, many great players. Um, the point of f3, apart from reinforcing e4, is to uh, prepare bishop to e3, usually, although there are certain lines where the bishop comes out to, to g5. And after that, white may play his queen up to d2 and then fling his kingside pawns forward in the hope of assaulting uh, the black king. Or he may just play on the queen side. We don't know yet. Um, the same ish setup, if there is a defect to it, it might be slightly cumbersome. You know, it takes um, a little time before white's plans uh, come into shape. So, black, if he can get on the case immediately, develop counterplay more or less straight away, he can usually get a good game against it, although it is quite difficult. Okay, well, the introductory game I'm going to show you is a very famous game um, between Natalie Karpov playing white and Gary Kasparov playing black. And it comes from the Linares tournament in 1993. I think it's a very rare game indeed because within a short space of time, Karpov with the white pieces reduced to rubble and that hardly ever happened to him. Well, it more or less only happened against Kasparov. Let's just see that game now. Okay, well, Kasparov castled in this position. You need not castle, as we have seen in the introduction, and as we will see um, in the future on this DVD. But castles is the main line. Karpov played his bishop out to e3, and Kasparov played pawn up to e5, which I guess you could call one of the, the main lines. I personally do not favour that move um, against the Samish. I think um, it's a little rigid, but it works very well in this game. The best move for White, I'm sure, in this position is to go d5, but I think Kasparov on that particular day, in this particular tournament, possibly wanted to surprise Kasparov, and so he chose a rarer move, that's knight g e2, where White is keeping the tension in the centre and trying to cut down on Black's attacking options sidestepping Kasparov's preparation, if you like. Um, personally, I feel if White's going to play this variation with knight e2, he'd better play it on move 6 and um, keep some options open with the bishop. I feel in this variation, if he's going to play his knight to e2, the bishop would be better placed on g5. But anyway, knight g2 was played, and um, Kasparov played the traditional reply, pawn up to c6. An elastic move possibly preparing play on the queen side with b5, just taking away the d5 square from white's pieces, so useful in all instances.